And equitable access, that's a topic of conversation that's been happening even before vaccines were available, especially getting coronavirus shots to communities of color. It's a priority because they're more likely to have limited access to vaccines. People of color are also more likely to die from COVID compared to white people. So where does Florida rank when it comes to vaccine equity? Our Liz Crawford breaks down the numbers of what's being done right now. Take the vaccination to the people. Many of these people are disabled. They don't have a car. Their means of transportation is a bicycle. Generally speaking, people in Florida started getting vaccinated around the holidays. Fast forward to February, and here's what we're seeing when it comes to race. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, as of February 1st, black Floridians make up 6% of vaccinations. However, they account for 16% of COVID related deaths. As a whole, black people make up 16% of Florida's total population. White people make up 76% of vaccinations, but only account for 55% of deaths and 75% of Florida's total population is white. What is the best way to reach black and brown people in those um, locations? And Publix is not the answer. There is a statewide effort to get vaccines into communities of color by connecting with churches and other partners. Dr. Hill was on site at one of these locations in Sarasota. When the vaccine was given in Newtown, I went up uh, and, and just said hello and talked to them, answered their questions, and that made them feel better. In Hillsborough County, six and a half percent of the vaccinated population is black, slightly better than the state average. So far, the county has taken vaccines to 43 high risk locations. This initiative, we're able to bring the vaccine to them, um, whether it's in their neighborhood or at their church or down the street. Hillsborough County leaders plan on growing their targeted vaccine efforts as long as they continue to get the supply that's needed.